Welcome. So I've been asked many, many times uh, uh, in the comments section uh, to uh, show this machine in operation actually cutting something. So I decided to make a short video here. Uh, what I got here is a uh, depth gauge. And this is used to allow me to set the head height for the focal length lens that I have installed in the machine. Uh, and in this case it's a uh, two inch focal length. The, the lens is actually one inch above the bottom of the uh, laser head here, the nozzle. And so the gauge is designed to account for that. So that would be a two inch focal length lens I've got set in there. So what I do is adjust the table up and down uh, for the focal length I want. But that's not the subject. You guys want to see cutting. So I'm going to cut another one of these out because I broke one. So um, I drew this up in um, uh, yeah, Fusion 360 and uh, exported the DXF. Uh, to a uh, cam program called Cut2D and in Cut2D I created um, a Mach 3 uh, file that I can use, a cut file that I can use to make the part uh, beyond the scope of this but that's that was the process to get to this point. Now this is 8th inch light ply and I already know on my machine it takes uh, 8, anywhere between 8 and 10 milliamp on the machine which is about a third power with an 80 watt tube, 30 percent. Um, so I've already set up my, uh, I got a manual fire switch here, I set up my uh, tube current to around 9 milliamps and uh, uh, we'll move the uh, move the nozzle or the, uh, the head into, into position here where I want to cut. Sorry about it, I don't have this on a tie on a uh, tripod because um, it would be too hard to make this video if we were on a tripod. So that's my position, that's where I'm starting. And uh, it's going to get loud because I have to turn the blower on. I've already got my pump on, my water pump. And Mach 3 is ready. All I have to do is, uh, because I moved the head, I have to uh, make sure that Mach 3 is zeroed. And that becomes the reference starting point to cut. And the next thing in Mach 3 I do would be to start the cut program would be to click on cycle start but before we do that we have to close the lid and uh, I got my safety glasses on trust me my laser safety glasses close the lid so that we have ample um, uh, airflow through this thing we have a blower that takes out the exhaust and the uh, smoke and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to see this without any reflection from this top cover here. But uh, I'm going to turn the blower on. And we're going to hit cycle start. And we begin. couple of years I've been asked many times to make a video of this thing actually working so here you go we're cutting at is uh, 22 uh, inches. 
inches a minute. tripod I said it would be too hard to shoot the video like this with, on a tripod so forgive all the shaking I'm just going to get the head out of the way so that I can get the part out of here and uh, hopefully it went all the way through and it did nice clean nice clean cut edges are uh, you know a cocoa honey brown which they should be uh, there is a little blowback smoke on the surface, but uh, I, you know I'm not uh, going to quibble about that. So that's how the machine works. That's all I use it for is cutting. Actually, this is all. <laughs> this wasn't cut out with the laser. This was cut out on my la on my uh, router, my CNC router, but. Uh, at the time, I think this laser was uh, it was down for some reason. Um, so you see it, and like I said, this is used for uh, as a depth gauge to set the head on the uh, laser, uh, according to the lens I have installed. Um, so that's the end of the video. So now you've seen it, you've seen it working, great.